There are plenty of memorable kills in Terrifier 3, the blood-soaked franchise's biggest, grossest attack on audiences yet. The movie's naughty and nice Christmas-centered trailers have already hinted to viewers that they have a ho-ho horrifying time ahead of them with its brutal old-school slasher vibe. Among all of that grease paint and gore, the death of true crime-loving podcast host Mia will probably go down in the annals of horror history as one of the bloodiest. Obsessed with the Miles County murders, Mia yearns to know more about what Sienna Shaw experienced. She ends up learning all about terror firsthand when Art the Clown kills her with a chainsaw in a shower. Even worse, it happens during a rendezvous with her boyfriend, Cole, who soon finds himself tortured by the business end of Art's chainsaw in a very not-safe-for-work location. That's one tough way to go, but the actress who plays Mia already understands what it means to be staunch in the face of seemingly hopeless odds. She's been through a whole lot in her life, but managed to come out on top and would survive in a way that would leave Art infuriated. Why does Alexa Blair Robertson look familiar, and what has she been through? Terrifier 3 has provided Robertson with her meatiest role yet after making a handful of appearances in a variety of films and TV shows. Starting out as a child actress, she played a younger version of Sarah Walker on the NBC action comedy Chuck, was a teenage version of Anna Nicole Smith in the television movie Anna Nicole, and played an unnamed girl in Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Long Haul. More recently, she was Tiffany Murdoch in the Hallmark TV movie One Summer, and played Noah Walker in the short film The Sex Bird. On top of her acting credits, Robertson dances professionally. She teaches classes in modern dance in Los Angeles and works as a New York's Knicks City dancer during their halftime shows, cheering on the basketball team from the sidelines. With such an active lifestyle, it seems as if Robertson is the healthiest person around, but that wasn't always the case. When she was just four years old, Alexa Blair Robertson was diagnosed with Wilms tumor, a rare form of kidney cancer that she only had an 11% chance of surviving. Rushed into surgery when a large mass was discovered on an x-ray, she lost so much blood that her heart stopped. Surgeons delayed the removal of the tumor until her body was strong enough to bear the invasive procedure. Roberts underwent a month of chemotherapy and radiation to shrink her grapefruit-sized tumor down, then finally had successful surgery to remove it. Six years of further surgeries and setbacks followed, but all the while, Robertson kept on dancing. She told the New York Post, quote, I was up there with purpose and poise, adding that video of her performances from this bygone time still make her cry. With all that in mind, how is Robertson doing today? As it turns out, Alexa Blair Robertson has been in remission since she was 11, and as of this video, she's completely healthy. She went on to major in chemistry and dance at Duke University, before being selected as one of eight background dancers picked to perform at a local stop on Janet Jackson's 2015 tour. That led to her becoming a part of the Knicks dance team, and has in turn continued to boost her fledgling acting and dancing career. Robertson still bears a large scar on her torso from her surgery, and she's not planning on covering it up. She told the New York Post, I proudly bear them. There have been two constants in my life, medicine and dance. And now that she's broken through with her memorable Terrifier 3 performance, Robertson will get to show horror fans everywhere how to stare down the horrors of the world with fearless determination.